Hello and welcome back to Rara's Adventures. Oh, the heat is melting my mind. We are visiting today Tangmere Military Aviation Museum. Today I'm not with my sister as she was not able to come today. So I brought my dad with me, Steve Duffin. We drove here today, but you are able to get a bus. The nearest bus stop is immediately outside the museum. So it's not far to go. Uh, we drove here today, but you are able to get the bus, which is number 55, which is from Chichester to here, which will take about 25 minutes. There is a car park. It's all on flat ground and they have full parking bays for people who have blue badges. When it is busy at times, a member of staff will come out and direct you where to park to make it a bit easier. They also loan out wheelchairs free of charge, but if you know that you'll need one, it might be a good idea to pre-book it when booking your visit to come over to guarantee that you get a wheelchair. Now, we all know places are opening up, but things have had to change because of COVID-19. So please, before visiting anywhere, check their website to see what changes have been made. Today, there are a few changes, but the first few changes are that you have to book in advance. They are working in shifts so that you can come in the morning or in the afternoon. You do need to wear a mask unless you are exempt. If you need to get an exemption card, you can visit my website and they have, and I have done a post where you can hit the link to Hidden Disabilities site and buy one of these. They are 50p and 50p for the plastic casing. They have had to reduce the pricing at Tangmere at this time as there are a few things that they are unable to open to the public which are as follow but before I read the list I want to let you know that this is all run by volunteers no one's paid here they are all volunteering to work here so the things that we are unable to access today are access to the cockpits flight simulations audio guides touch screen, access to the air raid shelter, access to the garden, memorial garden, the Nuffy tea room and the museum shop. Okay, so let's begin our adventures. Okay, okay so we've stopped here by the searchlight, which is humongous, multi -ad. Um, it's an anti-aircraft searchlight Mark 6 um, and it shines with candlelight over 100,000 candles to make it shine so bright, uh, which is a range of about 7 miles uh, and service 5 miles. Uh, the light source is direct current carbon acre lamp and it was manned by the Royal Artillery Searchlights operated in close cooperation with the RAF and also I'd like to say that my granddad John used to um, man one of these in the National Service of Hong Kong. Okay, now then carry on looking. This is a BBC Home Service. Here is the news for December the 18th, 1941. Raiders dropped bombs on North East and South West England last night. The only casualties were in the North East, where a few people were slightly hurt. A young of 88 was shot down into the channel yesterday afternoon. Here we are showing you where the Bomber Command would be and how it would have been set up. In the background there is a video telling you all about it and when Covid isn't here 
you are able to sit and experience what it would be like. So we thought we'd just show a short film of what's there and what it would be like to sit in the command centre. Here we are in the last hangar. Obviously we don't want to share too much or else you won't want to visit. But in here are quite a few planes to look at. Three enacted models to show you what times would have been like in the past. And also showing you that there are more simulators throughout the museum. Which of course you can't go on at the moment because of Covid. But once COVID's over, you will be allowed on these. And it is such an amazing experience. I wanted to share this with you as at the moment the public are not allowed to come here but this is the air raid shelter that when Covid isn't about you're allowed to experience what it would have been like to have to run away down into your bunker. Planes fly over and bombing. Be enough to share this with you. Museum. It has been an amazing day. Uh, we'd like to say a massive thank you to Tangmere Military Museum for letting us come along today and visit so that we are able to share with others what to expect while visiting. Maybe we can come back again when they're fully open, when there's no more Covid, so we can show you properly the interactions, which would be amazing. But even though they're not working, it's still been a brilliant day. I also want to point out that whilst you're here, even though you've got COVID going on and everything, it, there's still so much to see and do and interact with as well. But also talk to the staff as you're going around. They are so they have so much knowledge that they can share with you. Um, you learn so much from them as well as reading from all the boards and stuff. It kind of creates a bit of magic whilst you're going around. So I, I would like to share that with you and say thank you to Charles who helped us today, um, showing us um, extra parts that can't normally see but we wanted to show you what they have here to offer so once again a massive thank you um, we would also like to say a big thank you to our YouTube supporters if you've just joined us don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any more upcoming videos and we look forward to seeing you again next month okay take care thank you for watching and bye for now bye